opportunity to share the results of our work. I myself, together with a team of co-authors, we're presenting this report. And this is what we did during 2018, 2019 and 2020. And again, in the same area, it is this uh, Wrangell Cove. And for those who are not quite aware where exactly it is, just a second, I'm trying to change my slides. Okay, there's a map. Okay, this uh, cove, this Wrangell Cove is in, in the north of the Khabarovsk region. Okay, so it is here. Yeah, so this green arrow points to the cove itself. And one of the co-authors, Yekaterina Jikia, she first came there in 2016 and it was like an exploratory trip and she was trying to identify what has already been done and uh, what can we do because previously uh, there were other researchers doing various surveys so everybody was very much interested in this area and we knew that these bowhead whales um, used to come here and then in uh, 2019 uh, 18 and 19 as part of some tourist work and partly uh, partly as um, you know some um, film shooting activities we managed to do what we are going to present but it has always been in this wrangel cove it is quite a small cove and uh, colleagues already has shown it to you it is a bit over than one square kilometer and in order to understand what is happening with this population of the bowhead whale we wanted to do something else because um, nothing was known not much was known about these um, animals and we decided to use drones for uh, taking photographs collecting visual data it was not a new type of work in canada for example drones have been widely used and also in Kamchatka and um, on Sakhalin drones were used for taking photographs of rookeries and haulouts of uh, pinnipeds and we believe that this might be a good opportunity for studying these marine mammals in this area and every day during a certain season in summer whales come here in large groups and this is what can be visually collected you see it on uh, the photographs so on the left this is a traditional uh, picture yeah so that can be taken uh, by um, someone standing on shore or what we see on the right this is taken from a drone and a lot has been said already that of course it is better not to disturb the animals not to disturb the animals and of course drones in this case are much better than the boats these are the um, stats for our survey okay the number of days and uh, the number of observations we are collecting all this information for a catalog and altogether we have 72 animals identified unfortunately we had some technical difficulties and not all video materials have been processed because a modern equipment you know it um 
is uh, changing uh, so often that this uh, digital uh, materials, I know it takes quite long to process it. Then um, the number of repeated sightings of the animals, and you see that in uh, 2018, uh, there were five animals and in uh, 2018 uh, there were no animals that had been cited previously so that's why there's zero and uh, these are acknowledgements we have to thank all those who made this work possible and I would like to thank all members of our team because they did really great work in collecting this data and analyzing it. I, I have finished my presentation, but I received one question online and I would like to respond to it. Okay, uh, Sergei Zagrebelny asked me, how is it possible that in this small cove take about 100 animals. Uh, why is that actually? Do they come uh, here for feeding? Okay, and uh, this person is asking, it is quite uh, difficult to uh, count all the animals. How comes that you refer to about 100? Well, as I said, from the shore, you cannot see all the animals clearly and not animals are close to the surface of the water but if we are using drones then we can observe these animals from above so this is uh, partly my visual answer this is just a small section of this cove and we can see here you can count yourself there are certain regulatory restrictions for um, drones, for using drones in Russia, because everything should be done in line with the legislation. We couldn't fly higher and to take uh, one photograph of all the uh, whales in the cove, it was impossible. But the maximum number that was registered by ourselves was 72. And people say that in September of 2020, when we uh, almost left uh, this area, suddenly, suddenly quite a large group of whales came here and uh, people uh, say that there were almost 140 animals. So that is why, well, I doubt that there were 140. I um, That's why I referred to 100 plus. So if I observed 72 of them at a time, then easily there can be 100. Then um, feeding, as for using this as a feeding ground, usually they don't feed here. Although in 2020, on one day, yeah, we um, noticed this. Yeah, so usually whales, come here for socializing and for molting. So they molt and they use all these rocks, <clears throat> rocks and the sand um, on the bottom of the sea. So they rub against it. So they use it for molting. So throughout the whole time, we never observed feeding but in 2020, yeah, they uh, did it once. And uh, around the corner, actually, uh, there is a small bay, which is used as a feeding ground. So probably, maybe on that particular day, uh, the, um, gra uh, the um, uh, streams um, or currents uh, changed, and uh, that's why they uh, came here. And so they were using it for feeding. So I answered uh, the question that I received online. So if there are any more uh, questions, I'm happy to take them. Thank you. The first uh, question is from Alexander Burdin. 
72. Is it a cumulative number or it is in 2020? It is a cumulative. Right, then Peter Pretwell. Uh, do you think uh, that very high resolution satellites would be useful? Uh, I think they might be useful. It really depends on the resolution of uh, those uh, satellite images. I know that they are uh, quite costly. And to my knowledge, uh, the maximum resolution of uh, those satellite images is about five meters in a pixel, I believe. That's what I've heard of. Uh, other other ones are uh, uh, basically classified because they are of military use. So if we could have access uh, to satellite imagery of higher resolution, it would be very useful to look at those. And uh, it would be great to secure funds to purchase those uh, for scientific use. The question from Olga Spak. In 2020, okay, so some fishermen referred to 140. Um, we received this information from these were tourists. Okay, tourists in September 2020, they had drones. They couldn't take very um, good, you know, pictures for counting all the animals yeah, head by head. But they were speaking about these numbers. Okay, and another question. All good. Uh, we can get a 31 centimeter resolution. If you send me the lead long of the cove, I will see if we can get them. Absolutely wonderful. I sure will. Thank you. 